Meanwhile, an unprecedented move in Italy as the coronavirus continues to spread. The prime minister has put a total lockdown for all 60 million people until next month. Italy has the biggest cluster of cases outside of China with at least 463 deaths and more than 7,300 infected patients at this time. Amy Kellogg is live in Florence this morning. Hey, Amy. Hi, Sandra. Well, there have been rolling and regional restrictions over the past few weeks here, as, as you're well aware. But the prime minister really took Italians by surprise as they were tucking into their dinners last night by saying, I have a new decree for the whole nation, and that can be summarized as, I will stay at home. Now, it is not clear how stringent these new rules will be, how they will be enforced. Uh, but a document, a sort of permission slip that needs to be filled out by every person uh, who chooses to move around has been published. It has to go to the Interior Ministry and be approved. Now, it's ju not just movement anymore into and out of northern Italy that is being restricted. Again, theoretically now the entire country of Italy is under lockdown. There will no longer be a red zone. There will no longer be a zone one or a zone two on our peninsula. There will be Italy. Italy, that is a protected zone. People obviously became very panicked last night after hearing about this, about having enough provisions. There are lines outside supermarkets where they are letting people in in small numbers and really enforcing that three-foot distance rule. The situation outside prisons, meanwhile, remains tense, with police wary of further disturbances after riots broke out in two dozen prisons after restrictions on gatherings and visitations there were announced uh, for prisons. And that remains calm this morning, however, very tense. Now, again, Sandra, it is not clear exactly how this is going to work out. I snuck out to get a few provisions this morning, and there are a lot of sort of holes and inconsistencies in how it's all working. But basically, the idea is that in order to limit the spread of cases here, what the government is trying its best to do is limit contact between people so nobody is kind of expanding their circle either inadvertently or on purpose. Amy Sandra, Kellogg in Florence for us this morning. Amy, thank you.